Ah. <laughs> well, the one that comes to mind is the uh, spaceship being buried underneath the dam, but I don't know anything about that other than hearing it repeated by kids. Uh, supposedly there was a spaceship that was buried there, but uh, I'm pretty sure the Corps Engineers built that for another reason. City of Phoenix bought the property in 79, 78 and uh, turned it into an open space park. Uh, some of the other parks like uh, North Mountain and uh, Squaw Peak at the time, now Piastua Peak, was actually a parkland before that. But then the, all the surrounding lands were incorporated into the open space preserve, the Phoenix Mountain Preserve, about 79. Uh, before that, the land was used probably for mining in the turn of the century, 1800s, 1890 or something like that. Uh, of course, they're looking for gold and silver. Didn't find any of that, but they did find Cimarron, which was uh, the native ore for mercury. And mercury was widely used for a lot of different reasons and applications back then, so they used it for uh, all that. And uh, so there's a lot of old mining holes, glory holes, and mine shafts lacing the uh, park grounds for that, for that reason. Um, in 1980, mid-80s, the Corps of Engineers came in and uh, built Dreamy Draw Park with the dam behind us there uh, for flood control for the county. Uh, again, uh, the history of Phoenix is uh, punctuated by various big dam projects to, to uh, harness water, to get a constant supply of water, and also regulate those heavy storms we get in the summer months. So I have seen the park go underwater at times, so there's a lot of water. There's a lot of watershed above us, and all that water is draining through this low area. And if I guess it wasn't for the dam, it would race through the drainage and into the city and destroying or damaging home properties. The park gets its name from the, uh, the mining days. And what I've been told by some of the old timers that uh, back when the city of Phoenix was below Thomas, and you had central Phoenix there, as they were mining this in the 1900s, early 1900s, uh, the guys would come into town and get supplies, and the townspeople would note how drifty or kind of like uh, in a dream state the miners were. Uh, maybe they were just tired, but the other reason for that might be is uh, if you were handling mercury every day, which is a heavy metal, it's poisonous, and uh, it tends to accumulate over time, and uh, it does kill brain cells, and it makes you uh, stone-like or slow, much like myself. I've been out here too long, uh, <laughs> handling all this dirt and rock. And uh, the townspeople noted how the guys who worked these mines were in, in a dream state, so it became called Dreamy Draw. Uh, 